here we are! Once again, a final grand final, best of five, on Echo Isles, Hawk versus Rudin, Human versus Night Elf, and Hawk, of course, we saw him beat uh, Foggy, we saw him beat Warchief Ridge, and now it's the next Night Elf in line, the next top European Night Elf in line, um, to get slaughtered by the Russian human powerhouse. He knows what to do on Echo Isles, he's getting access to the mercenary camp and afterwards get the expansion like he always does and as I mentioned this a thousand times today his ability of stealing mercenaries is just super good so that will play a big factor on this map as shop control does but I don't have to tell you that Demon Hunter's coming in to harass a bit, Rudin very aggressive here, no creeping here he crept, he crept the little green one, got a ring of protection, that's not too good, but of course he just wants to delay the expansion. I There's of course two possibilities now for the Night Elf, do it like Warchief and expand as well, to yeah just put up a counter expansion, or try to push him down very very early without an expansion. And I think that's what Rudin is trying to do. That uh, guy from Serbia, and one of the friends of Atheist P. And yeah, level two and a half Archmage, but he's delaying the natural expansion creep so far. And that's good. Rudin is doing pretty good. Oh, there's no space for the Archmage to get into his base and get safe. Oh, nice. Rudin is parking an archer there to, to steal the creeps himself but yeah expansion is delayed attack of Rudin is halfway through that's uh, that's a solid base to build from boots for the Archmage so he can run away and he got a priest I don't know if he got it from the mercenary of Hawk the mercenary camp of Hawk no he got it from his own camp so now expansion creep and there will be level 3 afterwards, but let's see what Rudin is able to kill here. Oh, he got the Magi! Rudin, man, you're so sweet. Such a nice move. Not that hard, to be honest, but the timing was crisp. So the early game, very good for the Night Elf. Expansion though, up and coming. What's he doing here? Engine of Wonders in the middle of the map. The question is, for what? There's nothing like heal scrolls or, I don't know, uh, scrolls of regeneration stuff for his heroes, but maybe on tier 2 for healing potions or whatever, or he gets the staff very early. That's of course a big factor. And yeah, the arch is still hidden. And soon there will be time to steal something. Second hero, Naga. Oh, he's going all in on this one. He knows this early game was very good for me. So let's end this one. Put the nail in the coffin with the Naga here. Archmage constantly low on HP. Red Hawk is getting militia support. I don't know, man. Only two archers left, but there's no tower up with mass piercing damage. You can easily tear this down. Yep, there it is. A broken in pieces. Oh, possibly a surround of the Naga. Yes. Oh, that was that was bad. That was super bad. One move, and Hawk is back into this game. Naga down, but he can easily rebuy them. And he's going for this nice little push. Engine of Wind in the middle of the map. He wants to win this game in under 15 minutes. Is there a second engine of war? No, there's not. The Naga not bought back from the tavern. So she has to walk. I don't know. Is it walking um, back across the entire map? But yeah, Rudin needs this gold to buy dots here. He's constantly keeping the Archmage low. That's very good. But he needs to get rid of those priests. And in a perfect scenario, steel, of course, 
the priests here, but Hulk does a good job so far with it. And Rune has to retreat. Rune has to retreat, but the Archmage man, no block. No block, but the Naga is coming. The Naga is coming, Hawk smells it and runs away. Naga, of course, too slow without boots. And now we have the first dots in the mix. And you know it, magic damage versus towers. Always great, and Rudin got, oh my god. Berserker and Mud Golem. I was praising Hawk so high for his mercenary camp at control, but now he's in deep, 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 deep problems. The favorite is heavily struggling here. But of course, if Rudin is not able to win this game with this push, the expansion will pay off. Oh, wow! Down he goes! One archer shot is enough to kill it in the end. And without more water elementals, without the damage of the Archmage, I don't think he can hold this. He's going to the tavern immediately, buying him back with 800 gold on the line, on the bank. So now it's time to tear down this tower, is Mr. Gorbachev? Or just focus on the units and make this uh, completely wrong. But okay, now he's doing it. So yeah, Archmage is back. More and more and more dots are coming. And archers, of course. You see it. And the expansion didn't pay off at all so far. He invested so much into it, in towers, in the workers, in the town hall itself. He's trying to win this game now with mass militia support, but is it enough or will he just feed the Naga and the Demon Hunter? Almost level 4 for this guy. And yeah, this, this engine of wind in the middle of the map makes this push so much stronger. Reinforcements arrive in, yeah, like 50% of the time because of the placement of uh, the Ancient. Okay, Hawk got himself the Mauler. It's not very effective because he takes so much damage from magic damage. And he's very slow. And all. But whatever. R Runa has to be careful about his Demon Hunter, but there's a shop in place so he can get potions. He can get invo potions, everything. Naga now, oh, level 4, level 2 evasion, man. Level 2 evasion, he will never get it. 4 dots dealing with the towers and forces a town portal. He even lost his town portal, man. 350 gold, more militia coming in. But Rudin knows exactly how to deal with it. There's no mana for fog lightning, in case you're wondering. And Hawk is doing it great. So far, but mass range. Oh, demon hunter, demon hunter, demon hunter, demon hunter. Staffing himself out. The Naga. Beam me up, Scotty. And he comes back full HP with the stealth teleportation. That nice trick the night elves and humans always do. I know Czechy is getting angry right now. <laughs> Undead can't do that! Imba! But yeah, level three and a half Archmage. Rudin once again getting that priest probably. Yes, he got that priest, and that's so important if you look at this uh, at the HP bars. A lot is low, but there are three towers now. And it's getting harder and harder and harder to push this down. There's no tier three tech. There's no lores. There's no bears. There's no dryads. There's nothing. He needs to kill these with magic damage and archers. And of course, the Demon Hunter is the perfect tank with Ring of Protection plus 2 and uh, of course level 2 evasion. This is just beautiful. More militia. A desperate call to arms here by Hawk, pulling 5 militia once again, scaring Rudin away for now. One archer down. Second archer, well hidden. Archmage level 4, so more water mantles coming in. The Mauler surviving for a huge amount of time. And the Demon Hunter is surrounded! And the Demon Hunter is surrounded by his own archer! By his own archer, and he needs to TP out. No, Steph, I forgot about that again. <laughs> oh boy. Level 3 now for the Naga, so Fork Lightning is a big factor right now. 
this spell hits so hard, but he needs mana for that. He needs mana for that, and he wasted... Not wasted, he's using it all on Frost Arrow. 38 food versus 47, but everything is low, man. The Torrent Chieftain would be so happy about this situation right now. Or a panda. What's Hawk text? Oh my god, Hawk just started to tech. Finally he got some uh, mercenaries again. Some damage with the Berserker. But Rudin always finds nice places to stand in. He loses a, an archer or a dot or something, but in return he kills two or three units. And that's what makes you win games in the end. Almost level four on the DH. But the economy is kinda safe right now. Oh, 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 oh. Level 5 and staff. Level 5 and staff. He will be back in no time, but now the moon will should get dry right now. Oh, the staff. No, not on teleport. Why is he not staffing? Keeping it for some reason. These little waves of militia keep Hawk in the game. Well, let's see for how long he can do this. He calls the next... No, it's just a footman. Okay, no militia support now for Hawk. He called them again, but this needs some time. Time for Rudin to pick up some units. Level 4 on this Naga! He is killing so much. He is killing so, so much. The Archmage constantly on low mana, thanks to mana burn. And finally the Mauler dies. A bad position for the archers now. Oh, Shadow Melt. Shadow Melt saving two, just losing one. This is such a nice game. Action everywhere. And now the Archmage is in trouble. The critter blocks him for a split second. Maybe a block from the dog. Yes, he gets the Archmage. He gets the first hero. And now it's time to kill everything there's left. Demon Hunter with level five. In the economy line. Five and a half. It's time for metamorphosis soon. But Hawk is not giving up on this one. He stays in the game. He's not going for the tavern. He's not getting the hero back from the tavern. All is lost for him so far. Down goes the final tower. That Naga man. That Naga and the dots really made it. Rune is just picking up one unit after another. No chance for Hawk right now. What's he doing? Is he reviving it? Yeah, he is reviving the upmatch. But... Ah, what's it worth? I don't know. Can't come back from this. He is on tier 2 now, but he has nothing. No, no nothing. <laughs> oh my. No sanctuary level 5 Naga now. No sanctuary. No blacksmith for riflemen or something crazy. Naga second GG. Okay. Wow. What a dominant performance by Rudin. And I told you before, Hawk has an 80% win rate on Echo Elf. This is his strongest map. But Rudin knew exactly what to do with it.